friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button and hang out with us. If you're a returning subscriber, please and thank you. Tell me, where the hell did January go? 2018 is flying. I don't know about you, but it's crazy fast for me. Um, also, I am starting a thing in 2018. It's going to be a thing. Project Use It Up and get rid of it. If I don't absolutely love it, if I don't reach for it, it's got to go. So I am melting a boat ton, boatload of wax. And not just wax, like I'm doing this with all things in the dollhouse. If Even with the kids stuff, if they haven't touched it, used it, wanted it in the last, I don't know, 10 days, it's got to go. It's got to go. We are having one massive dollhouse yard sale in the spring and we are just going to downsize to things we love and absolute essentials as well as with my wax collection. I have been, I don't know, I'd like to say that I'm going to go on a no buy but that's just ridiculous and we know that that's never going to happen. But I've tried a lot of things. I've made up my mind about a lot of things. Um, so I'm only going to haul things that I love. I've tried a variety of companies and a lot of them are really good, but some of them are my favorites. So I think I'm going to stick to my favorites. And again, in 2018, I think you'll see just, I don't know, purchases of things that I absolutely love. And I really need to stop shopping and searching for like the next best thing and start shopping my own collection and warming through what I have because in all honesty, it's, it's an absurd amount of wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to do Scentsy first. So we are on the cusp of a new catalog and I'm always like at a loss. What the heck do you do with 80 some odd testers every six months? A lot of the times I will give them away as just little extras in people's orders um, but more recently I've decided to start warming through some of these like in a full party size tester that is actually a little bit bigger than a Scentsy Cube so I'm putting the testers in my 15 watt plugins in the bathroom as well as upstairs we've got like a little hallway in between the girls bedrooms so this is perfect size for a 15 watt warmer also I'd say about 75% of my testers are even sweating. So, yeah, project use it up. The first one was spiced fruit cider. Whoops. Christmas cottage and clove and cinnamon. I have scent scores in queue for some of these as well coming up. So, I can't remember which ones I've covered so far. So I'm not going to say too much. Um, Snowberry, which seems to be a cult favorite. Peppermint Dreams. I wasn't really a fan of this just because I don't like chocolate in home fragrance. Kind of grosses me out. Hollyberry Cinnamon. This one, I did do a scent score on this one. Actually, I just filmed it today. This one, pleasantly surprising. Not going to say anything else. Um, very snowy spruce that was available in bricks <clears throat> as well as in our regular catalog orange clove and palmander silver bells and autumn sunset so that was quite a lot what else did I warm through in Scentsy Scentsy's breathless this one was sad to me. It was a gift in a random act of kindness, and I absolutely love this scent. Actually, it's what's in Butterfly Atrium right now. I don't have it on, but my last two cubes are in that warmer, and I am cherishing it. That is such a good scent. I would like to see that one come back one day. Speaking of amazing scents, Marshmallow Mint. Super sad, but I did a throwback Thursday on that one. That too was a gift um, from one of my subscribers and friends, Cindy and Marissa. Um, I enjoyed every last morsel of that bar. Southern Evening. 
This is one of my faves. It did not come back this year. I do have a boatload of Southern Evening that is kind of a sweaty, nasty mess. But um, I'm happy that I stocked up on this. I was shocked that it didn't come back. Because this was one of my best sellers last summer. Ew. Project Use It Up. Ew. There was one cube of this. Berry of Paradise. Okay, I say ew because I hate Berry of Paradise. Hate it. It's disgusting. But if you love Berry of Paradise, this is about the truest Berry of Paradise. And it's so powerful. I put this in my laundry room because I only have one cube left. I'm like, get rid of it. Let's use it. And thankfully, I didn't do laundry for like four days. So I didn't have to experience none of that. Ugh. But if you like it, get it. <clears throat> Toffee Butter Crunch. This one is amazing. I love this. If you're a bakery fan, this should be a staple in your home fragrance collection. It's a great performer. I believe this is in my scent scores playlist. I warmed this on its own as well as, as a blending scent. Oh, it's a banger. Really good one. Um, my Only Sunshine. I did throw back Thursday on this fragrance this week. This one, oh, it's just happiness in a clamshell. And I know I could have only warmed two and saved the rest of the bar, but I can't. Like, happiness is contagious. I needed to spread this all over the dollhouse, so I used a whole bar. That one is also, shockingly, not in the catalog, but I do have several of those in my hoard. Uh, Sensi's Glacial Ice. This is one for sure that you will see me purchase in the February 10% off sale at the transition because it is being retired. That one's phenomenal. Makes a great bedtime melt. And the last Scentsy item of the month is my first cinnamon chai latte brick is empty. I love this scent. Um, at all of my Christmas vendor events, um, any of the open houses, some of the home shows that I did for friends, this was what I warmed all holiday season as well as all January as well. It's phenomenal. Just an amazing scent. Um, I have several of these bricks in my hoard now. Um, I'm really, really, really hoping we see cinnamon chai latte in Sensi's fall and winter catalog next year. It's amazing. Um, another thing I find is I'm finding a lot of scents don't have a lot of staying power. On average, my Scentsy bars lately are like one Scentsy cube lasts maybe four or five hours. Depending on the fragrance, that's pretty average, four or five hours. Cinnamon Chai Latte is one of the scents that will throw four days, and I'm talking days. I don't turn my warmers off. My Scentsy ones, my my um, super hot vendor wax warmers, I turn those off. My Scentsy warmers are on 24/7, and this just lasts and lasts and lasts and smells phenomenal. So that's it for Scentsy. I chunked up this pumpkin pecan Bath and Body Works candle. I absolutely love Bath and Body Works candles when they're chunked. I am not a fan because they have shitty burns as well as usually nine times out of ten if I do burn a candle you get three quarters of the way down and half down maybe and you start to get that kerosene nasty scent to it and I had someone say to me well it's because you know that will happen if you put out your candle with the lid listen I have been burning candles as long as as I can remember okay I'm not a newbie I do not snuff my candles out with the lid because that will cause the smoke to stay in there and contaminate the entire candle I don't do that I blow my candle and it still gets that kerosene note so I'm over it I'm absolutely over it plus I live in the middle of nowhere and rely on um, volunteer firefighters like my house will burn to the ground before they even get here. So it's just burning candles is it's not good for anybody and it's just not worth it for me. So I chunk mine. And I think <clears throat> I purchased those candles at the SAS. Plus I had coupons. 
So I think I paid like $8 for over 14 ounces of wax. You can't beat that. And it smells phenomenal. Chunk it up. Freeze it, chunk it, put it in your warmers, and you get the most bang for your buck, without a doubt. Um, next was Swan Creek's Drizzle Melts. I finished Bourbon Maple Sugar. Um, I was really interested in these because Mr. Kong's mom talks about these all the time. Perhaps it's just this scent. It was just too rich and way too sweet for me. I, hmm, I don't know. They don't sell this in Canada. I would definitely, definitely consider doing another haul, but I think I'll make a list of scents that she recommends and purchase accordingly because that one was just, eh, a tad too sweet for my tastes. Uh, I have some empty sensationals. Um, oh, oh my word. Okay, Egyptian cotton has to be one of my favorite sensational scents of all time. This has staying power. This lasts for days in my super, super hot vendor wax warmers. Mind you, I'm turning them off for eight hours at night, but they're on for 14, 16 hours a day, and this is amazing. I love this. That would continually be a repurchase for me. Um, and the next one is a more recent score. Sea salt caramel popcorn. Oh my word. This has taken my number one spot. I should have bought the entire row. I didn't. I only picked up two because I'm like, oh, this is phenomenal on cold, but maybe it won't be great warming. I really, I really should start warming something. You know, buy one and warm it. I have a habit of buying 10 and then it sucks. And now I've got nine that I'm just stuck with. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so I thought I was being good. I just purchased two. Of course, I love this. And now I can't find this anywhere. To my American friends, if you see this in your Walmart, let me know. I have to have 40 of these in my collection. This is my favorite. Also, this one lasts 12, 16, 18 hours and smells to die for. Um, next was Super Tarts. This is Once Upon a Time collection in the Fragrance Bell. Um, this is a combination of Beauty and the Beast, which is magically delicious and blackberry, mixed with tea and cakes. Probably one of my favorite Super Tarts of all time. I hauled this recently. I bought like six of them. I love, love, love this one. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. I have six, and I would literally jump on the website and order ten more if it was there. Also, to my friends who are getting friend mail this month, um, Michael, Amy, Amber, Cindy, and Marissa, you are getting a sample of Super Tarts Bell. Also, those people will be getting a sample of Barrett's Wax Crafts Cozy Winter Cottage. This one smells amazing um what are the scent notes on this this is barn board kitchen spices and fireside embers it very much it's very different but this reminds me of barrett's antique shop like i don't know he just he has this ability to create a setting or a mood. Like I, I smell this and I imagine I can smell everything in his imaginary cozy winter cottage, if that makes sense. It's, it's to die for. It's very reminiscent of Barrett's antique shop, which is barn board, antique lace, vintage light vanilla musk, and old books. Like you can smell everything like close your eyes and imagine you're in an antique shop oh my word and he creates the smell it is deadly also everyone who is getting friend mail this week is getting a sample 
or sorry, this month is getting a sample of Antique Shop. Next, what do we have? I had a small sample of warm vanilla caramel birthday cake pretzels from Sassy Girl Aroma that I received as a random act of kindness um, from my friend in Portland, Oregon. I'm not sure about this one. Um, I love Sassy Girl Aroma. I think it's the pretzel. I'm really trying to decide whether or not I like pretzel scents. And I know I like salty scents because there is the sea salt caramel popcorn one. I think it's the bread note in the pretzel that I haven't quite wrapped my mind around yet. Um, the next one was Frangelico Streusel Sugar Cookies from Sassy Girl Aroma. Another just little sample as a uh, random act of kindness. The next one was Strawberry Fresh Baked Bread from L3 Waxy Wonders. I warmed some of this as well as put this in my friend mail. So all of those people will get to try a bread scent. I personally, I don't know, with the things that I've tried from L3 Waxy Wonders, because they've been either on D-Stash or through Random Act of Kindness, I haven't really come across a scent that is like, ooh, I have to have more of that, or a scent that tempts me to place an L3 order yet. So, we'll see. <clears throat> Cookie butter crack. Giant disappointment. That was in my cookie melt-off this month. Rich. Next one was sweet potato spice. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I reused the bag, but this is two from L3. Um, I wasn't crazy about it as a scent, but I did, I had, this was the very first sweet potato fragrance I've ever tried. So I wouldn't rush to L3's website and place an order because of this fragrance, but I do now know that I didn't mind sweet potato. I might try it again, um, whether it's an L3's lineup or anybody else's. I received that as a random act of kindness, and again, uh, I'm happy I did try it because now the next time I'm shopping on anybody's website, if they have a sweet potato fragrance, I don't think it would scare me as much. Berry Buttercream Waffle Cone. This is from Southbound Soap Company. Um, scent notes are fresh berries, whipped buttercream, powdered sugar, flaky pastry puffs, and vanilla waffle cone. Amazing. Rachel does outstanding work. My friends who are getting friend mail this month also received a sample of that one. Sniff My Tarts Birthday Cake. Mm. I warmed this. I enjoyed it. I probably would not go to Sniff My Tarts and place an order with them. Again, I've heard that they're really difficult to order from. I don't know. I'm all about, I'm, I'm very much about ready to ship and convenience. If I have to put your name on a calendar and wait and prep, no, I like convenience, ready to ship. I like the vendors who have a little bit of something on their website all the time. So I don't have to feel pressured into ordering on their schedule. I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. Also, I've never warmed anything other than Celtic Moon Spice that I was like absolutely over the moon about. Birthday cake, it was just all right. I don't crave or feel the need to place a sniff my tarts order. Um, my friends are getting a sample of that one too. I would highly recommend mixing it with something. I think it would make a great blending scent. Um, I also warmed through the six pack. This is Wonderberry Wax Co. This is a fantastic company. I don't hear enough people talking about this, but this scent sucks. So the scent notes say honey graham crackers, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and toasted marshmallows. The name is My Friend Poo. How delicious does that sound? Okay. This smelled like straight up baby powder. Didn't smell bakery. Didn't smell graham cracker, jam, blackberry butter cookies, or 
marshmallows smelt like baby powder. I have warmed other Wonderberry wax that blew my mind. Authentic, amazing scents that last. Phenomenal vendor. I even emailed the owner and said, hey, like, is it possible that maybe the fragrance oils got mixed up and this is just a fluke? And she's like, were they purple and yellow wax tarts, two-tone? I said, yep. She goes, nope, not possible. So I'm like, uh, okay. Like, how do you get that far off on your scent notes? It was baby powder. It was none of this. It was just straight up baby powder. I really do want to place an order with her because uh, she has a great RTS. Fantastic. All the other scents I've tried blew my mind, but I'm a little hesitant. I might place a small order, just a test run order. <laughs> See if I get any other surprise mystery melts. Oh, you ordered a bakery scent? We're going to give you six pack of baby powder. Just weird. And last but not least, I finished Sassy Girl Aroma bakery bag of cinnamon rolls with vanilla frosting. This was fantastic. Julie tends to do a lot of wild and crazy blends that I'm not so crazy about. This is just simple. Nothing fancy. There's not 40 cents crammed into one. This smelled like authentic cinnamon rolls with vanilla frosting. And I would love, love, love to see more of that. Um, I, I just, I love it. I can't say enough good things about this. I did a wax melt off and I believe that this one first, it's, it's to die for. Love that. And as well as Sassy Girl Aroma, um, she does do restocks and there are times where it's kind of like the Hunger Games style ordering, but she always, there's always a little bit of something for everyone on her site that's ready to ship. So you don't have to participate in the restock days and go all crazy Hunger Games style. Um, you could go on there anytime and order at leisure. There's a large selection with a little bit of everything. So you don't have to feel rushed. I like that about this vendor. So that is it folks. Those are my empties, actually part two of my January empties and I can start all over fresh for the month of February. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell above for future content notification. And in the comment section down below, what did you warm this month? Tell me what some of your favorites were. I would love to hear it, especially if it's Scentsy, because I want to make a list and check it twice for the 10% off sale. Or if you're melting commercial mainstream wax, is there something from Walmart that I should pick up? Or even vendor wax, do you know of a little gem a little guy company that maybe I don't know of? Comment down below. I love finding new wax vendors. I should really go on a no buy, but hey, I'm always on the lookout for the next best thing. I can't help it. Bye for now.